Oh, guys, hello, welcome back to Team Forest TV. Uh, we have finally got the server sorted out, the STV, maybe even the live stats. I don't want to jinx that one, though. Uh, but we'll know that whenever the round starts. I will say that right now, the time on my phone is about to turn 21 16. That's 22 16 in, in uh, CET, I suppose. But I will officially state that the competition has closed now. 21 16, no more entries after that time will be allowed and I'm on STV but where is everyone else? The server's empty! Dear lord, am I on the right STV? Can it? Uh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> Silence here fills the air. Surely it should be up by now, Ducky. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Heist, uh, talk to me. Fill some air here quickly whilst I check out the status of this STV. Absolutely. Oh, while well, I'm just doing that, I'm, I'm just going to look back over the uh, arcs for the, for the last map. Obviously, we, we did, we spoke about the Big damage difference between two teams, and and obviously negative kill death ratio is pretty much across the board. Um, other than Knox, Knox being the only player that actually managed to hold his own, really. Um, but he would have been protecting the medic a lot there. Um, we oh, obviously... wow. Sorry, go ahead, James. No, it's fine. Keep talking. You're doing a great job, buddy. Thank I just you realized, much. you know, that uh, it was entirely my fault. Pretty sure I connected STV back to the old server again. Everybody, high five me. Wow, wow, well wow. Well done. E excellent job. Sorry, continue, continue. This is a, a total disaster. I'm just looking back over the logs while while we get this sorted for you guys, and um, obviously we saw Clockwork come in there with with some pretty big damage. And if you look at the two sort of scout pairs straight away, you've got negative kill death ratios for both Droso and Flip, um, and obviously a big big cleanup really. But Clockwork with a lot of kills um, on 19, equaling Gear and Cadus and Ips shortly follow. Um, just being just, obviously with such a one-sided game, you're going to expect you're going to expect that anyway over 15 minutes. Um, but I mean, overall as well, uh, if we look at the medics, at the Uber charges that they've popped, um, just looking at Toon, um, Uber charges for the blue team uh, made in Germany were seven to Mitzi six. So Ubers were fairly even, but obviously a huge stacking in captures, as you'd expect for such a heavily imbalanced round, and obviously for the mid caps as well, it seems to be directly proportionate. So, I, I think in this example, we're looking at all the mids being converted, but really that wasn't necessary. We saw a lot from the French team, like losing maybe one or two players before Made in Germany even pushed to the last Uber charge advantage or not. Often it was a full 100% advantage because Mips, Mitzi would go down on the middle and, and Toon would stay alive. But obviously we, they can do a lot there when they stack the defences. So hopefully the, the French team and, and Knox with his sort of experience, he's going to look at that and, and know what to put right uh, for this next map. Heiss, I think, I think I have the right STV now. I'm Excellent. just uh, connecting to the server right now. Please uh, give me a drum roll. On your desk. Oh, that's, that doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> <laughs> wow, imagine coming into your first cast. Ice having to step up here and fill Absolutely. time like, like a boss. Like already, a boss. Already, already handicapped from the offset. It should be you, the you same You're ruining my chances of casting the <laughs> season already. <laughs> I was just telling him off the air there that he was doing a great job. Definite caster of the season. Yes! It's working! <laughs> Oh wow! And I'm so sorry, guys. That was entirely my fault. I think I just realised uh, how much uh, I love Blackout John. Usually, uh, he handles it. You know, I thought I'd be the big man and step up and do it today. And wow, me the dogs did of it right there in between. Uh, I take full responsibility. I'm sorry for killing TF TF2 guys. We were esports until that moment. No longer.
<laughs> well, we're there now, and fingers crossed it won't all have been in vain for a short ten minute game on Goliosh, which of, of course is a is a faster map than Granary as well. And if if we watch the the French team wiping on every middle, yeah. then it, it could be a very very quick game. It's it's like a faster map up until a point. It's like more open than Granary, but we still get these weird stalemates on last, and uh, you know pushing last can be really tough, even with an Uber advantage. Like it's not that often that, or it's not that uh, unusual to see a team get turned over pushing into last with an uber advantage but somehow not managing to uh, kill the players and then eventually getting swarmed to spawns are one point uh, but also the, the underwater area the formerly underwater area Absolutely. I mean, the one thing as well I want to point out is just for you guys to keep an eye on Ips and Gear on this map because, I mean, we played them not so long ago and they they seem to play quite tight together and do lots of sort of interesting stuff as a, as a unit. And I, I've always found Gear has been instrumental to every sort of soldier pair he's played with in Epsilon, whether it was Nox or with Mike or now obviously he's playing in main Germany with Ips. You always see more often than other teams in, in the Premiership a good partnership kind of form. And I think a lot of that is down to Gear. You should see some interesting strats where sort of as they're maybe stalemating on on second maybe looking to push like the third point you'll see gear come out of drop down and sort of do a, a jump in sort of a uh, sort of swoop round onto onto the medic and ips coming in at a similar timing so there's something interesting for you guys to kind of watch out for there and see if you see any patterns in in how the soldiers play in, especially in comparison to sort of Knox and uh captain hacks as well are we going to see ips do the shadow burn jump sorry the side burn jump uh... i hope so no, <laughs> no strafing <laughs> oh ips had a, a real obsession there with the new russian rumor shadow burn and some of those uh Premiership playoff games, but we have gone live here in the team for this is Team Forest TV with Admirable Heist and Ducky covering the ETFTL season 17 part by TT Esports Premiership Week One fixture between Mela Mool and Made in Germany. It's map two, it's Gully Wash. We're going on to the first middle here. Cadis is super fast, of course, spamming stickies onto that big door. He's tagged the medic, he's tagged the pocket. He's really taking the buffs off the enemy heavy classes there, and uh, he's looking for his scouts to clean up. Cadis with the pipe kill onto Pierre Legressif. And there's Ips onto the deer bash. He's gonna run in, find flip, but Mitzi with the arrow kill there onto Ips will survive just as far as the lobby before Bash comes in, having killed Flip and pistols him down. Ice can uh, Mela Mill save some face here. Oh, that looks bad, doesn't it, with Ipsy going down so late and, and Toon again building Uber. We spoke about that before. Um, and obviously wiping late can be just as bad as wiping quickly. Um, and obviously w what we saw there as well was you saw Gear coming from Choke, where Cadus rolled out from with a scout. Uh, I think it was Bash. And Gear went down the drop down, came in, took Nox out onto the big door. And I I'm just, I just interrupted myself here as GLP comes in for kind of, I guess, a worthless scout frag, which will allow him maybe to switch onto heavy or sniper as they're going to push in with a full advantage. And they're going into pit now, James. Yeah, I wonder, can I quickly switch to the comms? Uh, no, I'm not going to risk that one right now. We'll think about it later. But uh, here comes it in Germany, top right. They're going to Uber and scout and demo. Clockwork will eventually kill the pyro of Flip, who was doing a great job of juggling them, stunning them into the wall there, but Made in Germany find themselves with a man advantage as the Ubers fade. Cadis is going to get focused down though by Drosso and Nox, and uh, Made in Germany going for the point, drawing a lot of players on there and turning it into a meat grinder. I think they might have just capped straight up without the frags anyway, but we will be going to a second middle right now. Heiss, I want you to take me through it. Sure, I'm following Cadis right now as he does notoriously rolls out quickly to the top left. He's there on 47 onto the health pack. Nadir is in the valley as he looks to, to get an early sticky on that on that soldier who's now moving to drop down. Cadis is aware of it. He's distracted now from the middle, and we're seeing them get a lot of point presence from the French team, but not getting much of it capped off. Barely so matey here, James. Yeah, uh, looks like uh, with a clear man advantage after that middle again. We're going to see Mela Mill run, but this time Mitzi has managed to make it as far as the lobby and survive. There's nobody hunting him down there, no Bash uh, on his case. Bash actually died during that middle, so I guess that's why Mitzi is still alive. It's going to be uh, equal Ubers here. Uh, tiny advantage there for Made in Germany, but they had no intention of pushing in and doing anything crazy, considering there were so many Mela Mill players about to respawn on last. That wouldn't be a wise engagement to take. It's going to be equal Ubers here. Captain Hacks has died to Stickies previously of Cadis and is currently out of this battle. Uber's come in, but as they fade, he should be back on the field. 
Uh, made in Germany have sent a scout to the water now. He's on the point, trying to draw eyes there behind. It looks like uh, they're trying to create a bait situation here as Mela Mill turn around to deal with that scout. There's quite a few players have made in Germany here in the water area. They've got Thin the Medic on both scouts. They're trying to bring the scouts onto the point here. They find a frag onto Flip Mitzi. He has no one to protect him. The soldiers of Mela Mill don't know what's going on. I'm not sure if I've ever seen that play. Medic and both scouts from water. I'm going to take you to middle now and I'm going to watch from the sort of male and mood perspective now as we've seen Nadir trying to combat Cadus's fast rollouts. Um, Nadir's going to opt for the valley again and Cadus is up on the top right side. He's done some good damage to him. Cadus will drop to the floor on 47 health. This should give him some early point presence but they're not going to opt to take it because they're running a heavy to middle and that slowed them down there. And that's a great pick from Nox onto gear. And there's two early picks now for the French team and they should should start to move that heavy up top but he's sitting in the valley they're taking a lot of spam because flips so running sniper on the floor that's hips that's peeked in there on the heavy picks knocks picks uh knocks and mitzi and he goes to pick on the cypher flip and that'll be a wipe um made in germany continuing to look impressive here with five minutes played they find themselves two nil up having won three medals in a row they're set to convert a third middle into a third round. Mitzi is trying to build here with Droso having got back from that Sponku, but uh, really his team have to try and batten down the hatches here and last and overturn this Uber advantage from the best team in Europe. I said it, made in Germany, even with Clockwork, or especially with Clockwork, are looking very formidable right here. And uh, despite Gullywash being a tough point to push, they're two for two so far in their last wishes. They're about to go for another one. Here comes Scout and Demo Man again from top right. They force back the heavy weapons guy into the point. Immediately trying to put some pressure on the point. A few stickies have been blown. They're getting times two on there. Nobody's able to get out of the melee mill spawn in time. They just uh, waited and waited too long there and trying to wait for the Uber to fade. But the Scout beat it the debt of the stickies and uh, nobody able to get out of those roller doors in time to block the point house. Absolutely, and it's looking every bit the game we were expecting, and hopefully we're going to see the French team now turn something around as Nadir gets another good early sticky onto Cadus. Cadus, a good sticky onto the scout, that's going to put point presence on as Droso goes up to the top left. There's some good soldier aggression on the top left, they get one early pick, it's one for one now. As Mick goes slightly disadvantaged, they've lost both their scouts, they've got good point presence, the French team. And that's 4-5 down now for Made in Germany as the soldier is weak on the choke point. Looks like he could go down to the day. He's going to drop down the drop down. I'm going to follow Ips around, see what he can do here. He's gone for the demo man. Looks like Ips will get picked off by Nox. Wow, and uh, as Made in Germany suffer their first mid defeat, I think this would be a good opportunity to go to the maid in Germany comms. I want to see how they're going to deal with this defense, so hopefully this will work. Uh, don't fail me now. Come on, baby. No, god damn it. <laughs> I can't hear anything nice. German accent right now. <laughs> damn you, mumble bot. Can anything else go wrong tonight? Right, they're I pushing give up. in anyway, so I'm going to take over here. It's the French team pushing. They give up a lot of ground. Three people in the spawn. That's a good debt by Cadus to slow them down. That's three down for two and made in Germany. And looks like Flip will retreat there on low HP down Riverside. And, and uh, Captain Hacks picking up the health pack from main. Captain Hacks is going to wrap around. I'm following him in eyes on the balcony, jumping for last point against the medic. He'll pick the medic. That's an excellent pick there as uh, the French team wipe. But they have some salvation as Sun goes down. Oh man, no medic here for me in Germany, but will they care? Or are they going to throw bodies here and try and chase down Mitzi? They're pushing already through Big Door and Choke simultaneously. We've got a scout in from the drop down. Bash is in, in a two on one. Manages to trade with Nadir there. Gets the uh, self damage kill onto Nadir, but does go down himself. But uh, the soldiers of me in Germany are committed deep here onto middle. There's no way they're going to get out. They're going to have to try and trade for frags. Ips goes down just... to Nox, but Gear finds him with the black box. And Gear's going to retreat, did, did well there, I'd expect him to go up the drop down, but he knew the spawner was coming from the deer, and he, he backed off wisely, he's with his medic now, with the black box, the scout building just behind him, and they're, they're sharing quite a lot of damage now, there's some good pressure from the French team, that's going to retreat them, I think they're going to wrap around, possibly back up top, but Gear's going to push out there on his own with the black box, as uh, one scout of clockwork comes in from the top, obviously the French team now close to Uber, uh, expecting them to pushing slowly here gradually but they're losing too many players and, and that looks like it's going to force them to back off as uh, one scout is stood on the middle point 
watching three flood through the choke. Club made in Germany from uh, Big Door. Mitzi has airbird advantage. He's popped off here as uh, Soder comes in super aggressive. Though. That's Knox, of course, the pocket getting the Uber charge, uh, but he realizes his flank needs a little bit of help here. He's forced back the MIG combo, but hasn't got the force off the thin. Jumps up and finds gear, though. And, That's uh, excellent and work by Nox there with that Uber, but two scouts are going to come into Bok, James, and uh, they've quickly picked Nox off, followed by Flip. They haven't had to pop the Uber yet. There's a, there's going to be a sniper that goes down for a choke in the form of Dro, so he gets the kit. It still looks like he's probably going to die to Bash as he drops down the drop down, and that's three down to Mail and Moo. Yeah, and he's about to get bombed by Kadis. Kadis has committed pretty far forward here, but nobody wants to take that bait. Nobody's going to go in and try and get that demo man frag with only uh, Nadir and Mitzi there at Big Door. They've got the spawns in, but still, they're at a man disadvantage here. There's Captain Hacks back on the field. That'll make it uh, five on five for this next engagement. But being in Germany, already pouring through Big Door. They find a, a field of stickies there from Nadir, and they aren't able to push through. A Soder's begun to push forward here. And that's Pierre Legressi taking a, a little bit of spam there for his teammates. But meanwhile, the scouts have come in for Made in Germany from Choke. You see Clockwork up top, Bash on the floor there. And they've just lead them back. Uh, it looks like Mail Mill didn't want to get involved in outside there without the charge. But now that they have Uber, they're content to hold lobby. There's sticks on Main. But they've uh, almost sacrificed the balcony, but it was a little bit of a bait. Clockwork steps forward past the staircase where Nox pops him with a rocket, gets that frag. And now we see combined soldier spam here up top from the Made in Germany soldiers, both spamming Nox. And, and this, is, uh, this is the work we were talking about before with the double soldiers and uh, Gears going in now from the top, the, he's putting some pressure on, he's onto the medic, he forces the medic, they have an excellent position at the moment as well to counter this Uber, they have a much greater advantage, 70% advantage, you'd expect them to get a couple of players here on main but they don't have the position to follow up and uh, they're just going to be happy sitting there with one Roma down and uh, as Ips pushes in from the middle left balcony, the demo pushing out of Nadir as well on the right side, roll the door, Ips will go down, they're going to push off that, two excellent uh, soldier aggressions really from uh, the French team, as Bash looks like he's got a pick, and uh, on the last point we're watching a scout versus scout situation, Flip will win that battle versus Bash, and that's crucial for his team as we see Clockwork uh, only alive on Sniper for the main Germany team. Fires one shot, doesn't connect, a second hasn't managed to get a frag yet, the medic uh, Mitzi hiding behind the geometer there, just peeks out for a second but already clockwork uh, taste buckshot there from Flip, he's gone down, made in Germany or without a medic and a scout there for the next five seconds, Then died to Nadir, sticky previously, Mitzi walking in here, hasn't got charge yet can't be forced, but he, he could die if anybody from made in Germany wants to commit to a push, but they're more than happy to just sit back here at big door, spam and try and lure them forward. Oh my god! Sticky Trap finds Mitzi. Where was it? In the rock? In the little bush there? It, it looks like the Sticky just got blue from the big door onto him, unless I saw otherwise. And uh, oh. that's a big game changer as now we're watching some exchanges here. And this has worked out fairly well for the French team as they take two players down, three players down. That's some good work really considering they lost their medic <laughs> and... Uh, it's such a shame for that team because this is one of those moments where the momentum could start to swing in the French favour. They had a full uber advantage, I think it was 90% on the Made in Germany team and they've managed to turn that around with an excellent uh, sticky trap, maybe some fortune from Cadis as Nox is going to come in, he takes two players down of Thun and Bash and he just swung it round the other way. Uh, big plays coming out from both sides here, Cadis with that uh, sticky drop onto Mitzi, then Nox comes in and retaliates, he's managed to take out Thun and his team have followed up, flip on Clockwork and Droso on gear means that Mela Mill will be able to retake control of this middle point. And oh, there's a soldier and drop down, he's going to jump up, Ips has got the buff, he shows himself, uh, pops a few shots at the scouts, he's taking attention here, now he jumps up onto the nipple of the point. He's not sure who to shoot, there's just so many targets with health here, and somehow he still managed to survive and take eyes away for his team to be able to walk through choke here. I have no idea how Ips made that work, but made it work, he did. Here comes another drop down play though from the opposite side. May Lemul Ubering in here, it's Mitzi and Nox, he's in deep, finds Thun again! Nobody protecting the medic there, not much he could do against the 300 HP Ubered soldier. But look at Mitzi, he's running for the big door, he's looking for some cover from uh, Nox. They need to get back right now, they've lost CP2, CP4 here, Heiss. 
Yeah, but they've got both soldiers, and the soldiers have done great work with their spam, forcing both scouts back from the point, but they're going to get reinforcements now for the Maiden Germany team as the demo and soldier jumps in. Ips distracting up to the top. That's going to force them to drop back. Nox will go down, taking Clockwork on it with him as a soldier comes in from Riverside in the form of Ips, and he's on 66 HP onto the point after pick and flip. All the players are chasing back from the French team as Nadir takes Ips down and prevents that back cap attempt. Wow, so close there from Ips. He uh, had a funny back cap in the grand final, I believe, using the conch as well. But right now, there is Pierre Legressi going deep onto Choke, trying to find Thune. He's managed to survive this time, but he's left his team shorthanded at the exact moment that they have charged, and they should be looking to push here. I'm not sure about that bomb, but his team will start to move forward. I guess he's going to be the guy holding last. And made in Germany see these red male and mill players moving forward into lobby they know what's coming they know it's time to back off by time by time and it looks like this equal or this uber situation is going to equalize right now it will be uber versus uber but it's 3-0 and 15 minutes left on the clock here Male and the mill might feel that they want to initiate here but they're just going to hold the lobby look at this heavy weapons guy from gear he's already through they're going for the submarine push they're going to do it for the fans right here they want to bring that heavy into the water area they have got that far but actually Thun has to pop here so this is a sort of worst case scenario of what they were hoping to do. Heavy comes in, he has managed to force the Uber. He may make it out, he's been separated into the water, he's getting chased here by Captain Hags. A scatter shot, so that was Nox. Scatter shot in the back uh, to Nox, Captain Hags goes down underneath and this is somehow working for me in Germany as the scouts just clean up guys. I'm absolutely amazed at what we've just witnessed there James and, and it was just absolutely stunning that they had such a huge uber advantage there, the French team, and that one heavy totally distracted them, splitting into the water and let his team, three players, get away from River Riverside and, and totally turn that around. It looked like the French team were going to have to push all the way back out from second there and wipe a few players, but we're going to be uh, watching middle now as uh, Cadus is rolling out left side. There's a, a black box soldier coming in from the right side. Uh, in the form of uh, GLP and there's one for one trade at the moment as a soldier jumps in he's uh, shot up by the scattergun there of uh, Flip and Flip's gonna go down to clockwork and, and uh, gear and we're watching three players down now for the French team and uh, it looks like it's fairly even James Mitzi has managed to survive thus far with Nox these two are nigh on inseparable uh, but so that's Captain Hack sorry oh just give too much credit to Nox there but Mitzi is alive, he's getting uh, tagged by the scouts or has to back off to the choke to get the kit. And uh, <laughs> oh, look at that! Clockwork just surfing the rocket from Captain Hacks there, gets straight into his face with a meat shot, even though he has that black box and is getting back that tiny amount of health per hit. Almost died there, had to go back to the waiting arms of his medic, but look at the setup here from Made in Germany at Big Door, Ips, Cadis and Clockwork all waiting to see if they can get a cheap frag there. They will back off right now to respect that Uber advantage. Dune's just back in the field. He's only started building. It's still Medigun versus Medigun, but a massive Uber advantage here for Mitzi as uh, May Lemul try and find some blue players to kill. They're peeking into lower lobby. Flip is doing well on the flank, manages to take out Clockwork. Nadir gets gear as well as Droso finds Bash. Well played there from the May Lemul scouts as their combo had took all the heals through Big Door. They managed to hold their own round, choke their house. Absolutely, and now we have a situation where three have gone down as they went for the entry factor. Just trying to delay now to get the players back up in time to hold the last point. And I, I, there is a back cap on, and that in the form of Nadir, he picks Clockwork as he goes down. Not a great trade for the French team as now they're trying to hold on to the second point. They're going to lose Droso shortly after, and I'm expecting them now to come out and take the second point. But I think. Uh, Captain Hax is going to have something to say about this. As he goes in on the flank, on Riverside, he's going for the last point. I don't know if he's going to have time because there's a lot of time on that second point now. He gets the pick onto Clockwork. There's a soldier in gear trying to prevent it. And he'll get oh. the pick. <laughs> you just saw the power of the black box at action there. He managed to skill, kill a scout in two rockets. Uh, got health back from that at the same time. Then continued to a black box duel with gear. Gear showed his hand a little bit early, jumped over Captain Hax's head, but he'd lost position on the point and you know the sort of knockback effect of the rockets enough to secure the point there for Captain Hax. Big room play right Absolutely. there. We're seeing some aggressive play now from the French side into the top right area. One scout will go down early in with Droso as the soldier bombs in of gear. He gets the pick onto Nadir. The scouts are following up of Clockwork and Bash trying to chase that medic out. Flips on low health. He'll be pushed back to last point and, and, and wisely that the scouts have not followed too aggressively. But Clockwork's gone in onto last point. He's still jumped. Flips trying to deny him as he'll go for the pick on Mitzi. Flip rescues Mitzi on 30 HP there. And that is going to be crucial, James, to keep this game alive. 
Uh, made in Germany, I've just managed to cap middle point whilst uh, that assassination attempt came in, but flip too strong against uh, a scout with, I don't know, 100 plus ping. There's an air shot onto an uber thing as uh, gear denies this big push out slightly from uh, Main Lemil. There's the counter uber as Thun just gets it, pops off the Cadis, but he already finds himself two players down. Ips and Bash went down from that initial aggression. Oh, but Made in Germany scouts are coming in from behind to. Just sure up the defenses, but now Droso finds clockwork and there's some firepower missing here. They're trying to clean up two more players. And they will just find those frags in the nick of time gear and Thun, the last man standing from that uh, play. There comes the respawn wave as well now. Absolutely, and it, it looks like you know, Deer is going aggressive, trying to put some sticks down onto that door. But there is a soldier and a scout into the lobby. The soldier coming in from lower. Flip's trying to be aggressive. He's being picked, and that's another really bad pick now for the French team, as they're going to look to hold on to this last point. I would expect Maiden German to be very aggressive off this one pick, see if they can get the medic down and uh, give themselves a big advantage. And there's already some big fights going on now, James, and it's two for two. There's both soldier bomb in. Uh-oh. There's a player on the point, it is Gear. He's times one there, but with uh, only two players up on one of them in spawn, it didn't look like Bailey Mill were going to block that point. 5 1 here with 11 minutes left to play. Uh, will we see Made in Germany emulate that 6 1 from the first round? Quite possibly. But onto this middle, though, I am watching the Nadir perspective as uh, he is going to just stay on the floor and try and spam stick. He's up, he's looking to control. Now moves up elbow. And his medic and pocket soldier will be following him. Looks like Mail and Mill just want to control their own side. I, oh, made in Germany. Just focusing down Droso, who stepped forward a little bit farther than everyone else onto the point. Cadis goes down to a pipe from the deer, though, as Ips takes down Nox, his opposite number. And this is turning out to be a really even middle, but made in Germany find players to isolate their drop down onto Flip, focus him down very quickly. Mitzi has already left the middle, has no one to heal right here. There's a player behind as well. It is uh, Pierre Legressi, Captain Hacks. Oh, he's going to get shut down, but just whenever the sort of cookie crumbled there, Made in Germany found themselves together in a cohesive unit and were able to focus down a few players and uh, just take control of the middle. We saw Gear going deep there, trying to get a force off. Just thought he'd roll the dice, but too many players there on the respawn from Mela Mulhouse. Absolutely, and now we're seeing an equal charge in Ubers here, and they, they are both on Uber charge still. And uh, I think the French are going to be very cagey now because they're holding on to the second point and they need something big here. And I think the, the clock is obviously ticking at nine minutes and they're going to be concerned about getting back into this game and, and, and make, obviously turning it around. Yeah, it's uh, it's tough when you've lost so many rounds so quickly. Uh, maybe they should have just stopped going to middle after 3-0. Tried to right. slow the game down and claw a few rounds back. But right now they find themselves with a four-round deficit here. Uh -oh. and, and amazingly, GLP is pushed with 90 HP on the flank just to get picked. And uh, Flip did wisely retreat back. They have a slight uber advantage now on the French team, and they'll pick Clockwork. Gear will come in, take the deer down, Nox follow up on Gear and, and trade, and it's an equal. And it'd be interesting to see what happens here. I expect the French to win this battle, but Ips has quickly changed that around. Cade is doing some nice damage with stickies from the floor as a soldier of Ips launches in, takes down Droso. Cade is finishing off Ips and um, Mitzi, and then uh, GLP on the respawn coming back out. Looks like he's going to get um, picked there, and he's waiting for the med pack on the lobby door. He's quite low. Both scouts are going to come in on him, pick him off. That'll be five down with two spawns for the French side uh, as they look to hold on to this match. Yeah, they're going for it. They're looking to drive this one home and put a final nail in the coffin here of Mei Le in this first fixture of the uh, etf 2 l Premiership that we've seen so far in Season 17, part by TTE Sports. But, oh, they just held on to last and now Mei Le they're feeling a bit reckless, man. They're going to move forward here pretty aggressively. And they have just started getting some time on the point as their combo tries to probe forward here, but they've got no charge and they're just getting focused down. Nox in deep there. Uh, takes focus fire from Cadis and Bash goes into the spawn queue. They have, uh, Made in Germany have given up the point, but they've managed to earn themselves three frags here. And they can continue with this man advantage push last and cap the point at the same time. Clockwork has been in deep behind Metzi, comes round, gets the medic pick there. And this is probably looking a bit grim right now for May the Mool. It could be 6-1 house.
It does, but they, they did well to trade so many players there in that situation. Both scouts isolated by the point, by the soldier of gear, jumping in from the choke point, and they look doomed as they as uh, Cadus pincered in there with the combo onto that scout combo, and it all looked to be over there, but they did get some good trade-off, and now we're looking at an equal uber advantage, but Mit Mitzi has a slight uber advantage here, and uh, it's interesting to see that Turn op um, opted for... Um, the Uber charge again here, but they're being incredibly aggressive. Nadir getting picked r rather uh, recklessly there, and GLP following up. It seems to be the tail of the whole game so up till now. And uh, Nox is going to try and, and slow them down, and Flip will get a good pick. Nox is in there on, on Cicadas, but there's nothing he can do, and they're free down. Nox is in a, on a long spawn wave here, James, uh, as the heavy of uh, it gear, sorry, pushes in on the floor. Yeah, they've got them in a real stranglehold here, uh, just forcing these reckless plays from Mele Mul, but Made in Germany are, uh, oh, I was about to say struggling there, but there comes Clockwork and Ips with uh, frags around the point. Times four there, it's going to be 6-1, and uh, Mele Mul will add a second 6-1 to this fixture. They're going to lose all points, Made in Germany picking up a full six points here against the second seed that we uh, identified after the Team Forest TV Zoe Invitational number two but wow made in germany really uh coming strong out of the traps here in season 17 cementing themselves as the team to beat we have been joined by ips and mumble but we'll look at the logs real quick first heiss uh hopefully i can uh, bring them up maybe you've already got them how prepared yeah, are you heiss? I, can, I can see them already and uh kade is coming in with a big fourteen thousand damage after 22 minutes played and uh actually averaging higher damage there than he was on, on the previous map on Granary and, and this game of course was kind of a mirror image in, in many respects apart from the time limit in the sense that they did uh, go 3-0 up and uh, Mail Moore responded with a with a good round, uh, maybe somewhat fortunate in some respects with a with a good back cap there by GLP with a black box um, but shortly after they, they just were forced into a lot of reckless plays by the aggression of um, Made in Germany and, and looking at the logs here Hayes obviously had an excellent uh, game. He did did a lot of work, really quick rollouts as well. Um, and it seemed maybe Nadir and perhaps sometimes Captain Hacks, although he had a, a decent game and, and Flip, giving away some very cheap um, kills, perhaps because they were under pressure and um, from Made in Germany and against the clock. Uh, but that seemed to take its toll in the end. Uh, indeed. I have nothing else to say about these stats other than that uh, the uh, damage of the winning team at the end of the round, the winning team of course made in Germany, putting out 40,223, so that is the marker that's been set. Uh, I understand Sunny Black is uh, going to be working in the background there trying to figure out who was uh, closest to that, or maybe somebody guessed it outright, I would be impressed by that, but uh, 